we are the Beekeepers Association of Sagada, or in acronym, we are called the Bigas. In our dialect, Bigas means hardworking. So we are a hardworking organization. We established Bigas purposely because uh, most of us are guides, actually. So just to have some something to uh, do during lean season of our guiding, we decided to have uh, something else. Our pioneer me members have uh, started beekeeping on their own, like uh, reading some books, uh, asking some questions to those who have already been uh, uh, trained with uh, beekeeping and uh, or applying what they've learned. Uh, they started their own colony. They've been doing a self-help uh, uh, learning, like getting two colonies at the same time. Uh, one which is normal and the other one applying which uh, whatever they read from the books and that's where they've learned. This time uh, we have 25 members, 18 which are active, they have their own colonies. Maybe one of the reasons uh, that makes the organization unique is that it is composed of um, different sectors like uh, there are guides, there are farmers, and there are entrepreneurs. Yeah. Another one is that almost all the members are environmentalists, and that yeah, being environmentalists brought us together through beekeeping. Like for the env environmental guide, one of their aim is to uh, keep on planting more trees for the protection of the environment, as I've said, and uh, also for the uh, source of food for their bees. And uh, for the gardeners and farmers, they are actually uh, uh, going into organic farming already. Uh, also for, uh, they, they tend to go pesticide free for the, uh, because it's good for the bees and it's good for, for their uh, produce also. That's my queen, my black beauty queen. Mm -hmm. See? If you can notice, the queen is uh, real elongated compared to the worker bees and compared to the grown, apelaga, the male bee. That's a grown. When you buy honey from this area, uh, we can say it's the best kind because uh, of the source of their food. Our, uh, the main source is the sunflower, which uh, grows all over the area without pesticide, guaranteed. Great. We, the beekeepers, need some assistance from other uh, line agencies or any individuals that could contribute in our growth. We have here around 48 colonies and they produce produced honey or the byproducts of these colonies. It's not enough to supply only Sagara. We learn from each other, but we, we don't have enough formal trainings. That's one, so we need more trainings. And we have but a few colonies. So in order to achieve uh, one of our visions to to help in the environment is that um, we need more colonies to pollinate uh, more bees to pollinate other other plants so that yeah. and we need around thousand colonies four thousand per colony we also need uh, uh, tools to make these boxes tools for for the production of boxes and the frames. We need some more networking for future um, market. That's, that's for the future since we cannot produce the, we cannot produce enough honey to, for each and every table here in Sagada or the region. For more information, please visit us in our Facebook page, Sagada Vikas.